Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, the Copper All, bringing you a very disappointing video. I bought the Nerf Ion Fire online for $14, and it was supposed to come with all the attachments, and it's missing an attachment. And I needed that for another video. So I might I might end up returning this, but I might as well make the video. I'm not I was gonna use my grading system to try to grade it for a um non-flywheel blaster, but yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm just, this is really depressing. I'm tired. But anyway, the, um, I got this because there's some great potential with this blaster in that it is the only single fire blaster that I'm aware of, because there could be another one, but I'm pretty sure this is the only one that has a barrel and stock attachment points. So it can take this, and it can take this, which is interesting, to say the least, because it fits my requirements for this, and it's one of the better blasters, because there's enough gap between these, it's not as thin as like the Strife, where you gotta squeeze your hand in there, it's, there's enough gap between the two. The rocket launcher is high enough on this riser, which I think that's what they're technically called, risers, as you can see, that it won't hit this part of the, the front attachment. The only problem is, is that you got to take a rubber band and put it on the... On this part so it could stay still because there's no little thing to dimple or well, besides that that got me thinking technically it is a, attaching this is still a single shot blaster in game types where single shot blasters are required this thing could technically have these attachments if it's technically allowed and all that you which I thought was quite interesting. But then it got me thinking even more. Because, oh, just this weak little blaster taking these attachments and all that and becoming a cool, useful thing. And And what it, what it is, is that, what's the word? Um, it reminded me of a movie I saw, Paintball. It's a horror movie where a group of paintballers, it, they're playing the most dangerous game, essentially. A group of paintballers come in for like an extreme paintball game, and it turns out they're being hunted and all that, so... But you're supposed to put together a, a firearm to fight, essentially, a juggernaut. And that got me thinking of a game type, based off that. Just the most dangerous game. In which you look for the attachments. You like you, It's like a scavenger hunt. Mixed, with, mixed in with, like, a kind of a sudden death. Well, a scavenger hunt mixed in with, like, a juggernaut. I, I don't know, know the name of the game type. Where you look for the attachments... In order to fight the juggernaut. So you can't beat the juggernaut unless you use all of the unless you have the whole entire completed thing, essentially. And all that. Ideal like you can if you hit him with a mega dart, like you could stop the juggernaut in his tracks for a short amount of time. You hit him with this, it won't work. But it's like a king of the hill type of thing. Whoever's left standing or has all these parts first wins. So you use this to take out your the other players and all that. Or maybe maybe you could hit the juggernaut with it and it's still like, okay, they you're, they stop moving for an even shorter amount of time. Giving you like a five second head start while this is like a 15 second. And you need the rocket launcher to fully take out the juggernaut and all that. I thought, wouldn't that be a cool game type? But if you combine the whole thing, and it's still very much a thing in the game type where 
I imagine that you still want one person standing. It's, the, it's to the last man standing. So, how are you going to... You could use your ammo to take out your other team members. You could take out the Juggernaut with the rocket and all that. But it's your one rocket if you mess up. The Juggernaut will be armed with something... I, I want to say to be armed with a sledge fire. I like the because I believe that's something what the juggernaut was armed with in the movie. I don't remember what firearm they had, but yeah, yeah. And I was like thinking there has to the one problem I'm having with this is that why bother going for these two armaments when you could just go after the rocket launcher? I'm thinking there has to be a reason to have the whole thing completed. And I'm thinking maybe you can't take out the Juggernaut unless the blaster is fully completed. That's one idea I was having with it. Like you have to complete it in order to take them out. But you could still use the ammo and all that on your fellow players. So... So there you go. That's that is just me trying to come up with an idea. Just this idea, like building a blaster in order to take out your enemy and all that, and possibly like in one v one game and uh, one shot games and all that. But yeah, just a short little video. Just a little bummed out about it. All that, so. But besides that, the I am for it's okay. 55.5 and all that. Just, um, just a nice little odd blaster. I like the, I like it just with the rocket launchers. Just, I, I see it more, now that I think about it, I think it's better. <laughs> the squeakiness. As just like, if you, Instead of the guy running around with the rocket launcher by himself, just have an ion fire with you so they have a blaster at least. Obviously, you want to give them like another spare blaster that could take, like a commander. Give him a commander and put this on it. You want to do that, but it's like, again, it's um kind of like a game type thing. It's just the one guy with the iron fire maybe make the iron fire like if it's a hit it's a one shot kill i don't know just brainstorming cuz just this ability to mo to make this combination is just so neat for a single shot blaster but yeah well I'll talk and actually not that com it's actually not bad it's fairly comfortable pew pew well thank you very much ladies and gentlemen you all have a nice day bye bye